All right, welcome into Five Reasons to Bet with J-Rod. I'm Ethan. We got our guy James. He's got the cool accent and the cool shirt. I should be wearing my shirt as well. We're going to get off of the NBA here just for a little bit. We will do a lot of that tomorrow. Of course, the Lakers uh, are in a bad way right now, so we will touch upon that. And Dame Lillard has no teammates he can trust. But we're going to talk some horse racing and boxing. We're going old school here. We're going to the old newspaper sports and, uh, and get into these. Uh, James, let's start here. Uh, let's let's start with the boxing before we get to the Belmont. Uh, this is a novelty fight, but I mean, this is a novelty fight with with huge names involved, and we got a cool promotion with it as well. Uh, Jake Paul and our guy Floyd. What what do you see here? Uh, well, on the boxing of the weekends, yeah, we have Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> obviously one of the greatest <laughs> boxers of all time. Uh, Fifty fights and undefeated, and then we've got Logan Paul from YouTube. Um, <laughs> is he? One Did fight. I say Jake Paul? I meant Logan Paul. I'm sorry. It's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Maybe it's one... Rand Paul. I'm not Your sure. Paul, my Paul, his uh, Paul, uh, everyone's uh, Paul. That's right. Paul McCartney. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry, James. Uh, I really don't think it matters which Paul it is. I, you know, uh, for me, obviously, I, uh, I'm I'm back in Mayweather. But we've um, we've got an offer to try and tempt a few people in on uh, Logan Paul at the weekends. So these are the odds. It's plus five fifty for Logan Paul to win the fight on the money line, and it's minus a 1,000 um, on uh, um, Mayweather, obviously. So we thought, well, why don't we just do – and all the money that we've seen so far has been for Mayweather. So we've got a really strong offer, which is if uh, you back Logan Paul on the money line and he loses in the first round to Mayweather, we'll just give you your money back. Totally. Mm. You know, no, car, no tricks. No, You know, it's absolutely just – your full money back as cash. Um, so we did that 24 hours ago. And needless to say, kind of the last $20,000 we've seen have been straight for Logan Paul. So um, so that's quite a strong off. But I still, of course, I fancy Mayweather to win it. Um, you do just question why Mayweather wants to fight. Well, we know the, the money. But apart right. from that, why, why I mean, bother? James, his name is Muddy. I mean, I, I mean, it's literally Muddy. Muddy Mayweather, right? And, you know, that's it, – it's not – you know, go ahead. Go ahead, Jim. Well, no, so this is actually this is actually setting itself up nicely for Showtime because this has a sort of a WWE sort of feel. In other words, Floyd will beat Logan. There's no doubt. We're not we're not saying he will he won't. And now Jake Paul, Logan's yeah. brother, who just signed a multi-fight deal with Showtime, Mayweather, Jake Paul. Maybe in December, maybe in the fall, Jake has a fight with Tyrone Woodley, who's a UFC fighter. He has got a boxing fight with him set up on Showtime at the end of August. It all strings together here, my friend. This all leads to Jake from State Farm uh, in the next fight. So th there, there you go. All right. So that's, a, again, you like Mayweather. I don't think we need to go too much into depth about why you like Mayweather. I'll, I'll yes. be there. I will be at Hard Rock Stadium for that fight. But the fight that really gets me is Chad Johnson, Ocho yes. Cinco. He will be fighting on that card. So yeah. I'm going to see what those odds are on Chad. Because, you know, Chad's from Miami, man. And, you know, maybe minus the guns, he'll go out there and fight. Yeah, Chad's one of the best followers on Twitter, too. So if he wins, I want to see how that thing goes. All right, let's get to the horses here. Uh, I feel like uh, this is this is not quite the sideshow. We got the Belmont, the third one, Triple Crown uh, coming up. Uh, you know, it's obviously it's been an interesting horse racing season, I think, with, with some surprises here and not, not what anybody was necessarily anticipating. Uh, James, how does it play out? Well, first of all, even just this morning, we've had confirmation that, yes, Medina Spirit did fail uh, its drug test. So um, needless to say, we haven't got Medina Spirit in the race. In fact, we've just got eight horses running. Uh, you know, the field has really dwindled in, uh, in recent days. Essential quality, that one from the Derby, uh, the famous uh, big favourite that got beaten there. Well, that's the favourite for this race. Uh, it didn't run in Brinkness, but that is the plus 225, plus 225 favourite. Ahead of Rombauer, who is plus 250, second favourite. Rombauer obviously won that Preakness. Mm -hmm. And then the other interesting one in third favourite is Hot Rod Charlie, who, for the Kentucky Derby, I remember that was the horse that was backed yeah. harder than any on the day. Backed sort of mm -hmm. nine to one into about four to one and was a little bit unlucky not to uh, not to win. Um, so, yeah, Essential Quality is the favourite at plus 225. And then we've got some big shots as well. We've got, uh, like, Overtook... Um, oh, we've got uh, Balbonic, we've got France, Go, the Ina. And to be honest, all of these horses we kind of know from previous races now. So there's no great surprise factors 
Um, I think the race again is fairly wide open as the first two have been. Uh, but you know, maybe maybe essential quality will get it right this time round. I'll tell you, for me, we 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 we've done pretty well. You mm -hmm. know, I, I'm not. I may not be the most favored person in the hallways at BUSR because we had Hot Rod Charlie. We mm -hmm. talked about Hot Rod Charlie in the Kentucky Derby. Finished the money. We told you about Ron Bauer. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Yeah, good shout. Yeah. And I'm gonna say the one that I'm backing. Rock your world. The okay. seven horse. Okay. It's a mile and a half at the Belmont. It is the test of champions. That's the name of it. And this horse was literally built to run at a mile and a half. So that's what I'm backing. The seven horse. Rock your world. Last I saw six to one. But I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to put a little money there on the win. I'm going to get it in there to show as well. But I would love a Rock Your World Hot Rod Charlie 7 4 Exacta. Woo, that could do some damage. You're right. He is a six to one shot at the moment, plus 600. But just for fun, as soon oh. as I can ring the office at the end of this call, we'll go plus 700 so everyone can cash in on uh, uh, Jay Rod's tip there. Like he called Ron Bauer at uh, 16 to one, was it last time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like so yeah, we'll go plus 700. We'll go plus 700. Oh, yeah. that would have been worth the hundred bucks. All right. Uh, if you want to bet the hundred bucks, remember we still got that promotion through busr.com backslash five RSN, you a hundred dollar deposit. They'll give you a hundred dollar credit. I mean, what do you have to lose? I, this is all my fault. You, but you should, use it on Logan Paul and then double up. You kind of, you you've got your dream money on Logan Paul. I, you know what? I got to write all this stuff down. All right. We're going to do this before the weekend. Jim Rodriguez, follow the J Rod show. Our guy, James, you'll join us again. Uh, we appreciate it again. The, the, the promotions we got, you bet on Logan Paul, gets beat in the first round by Floyd, you get your money back. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we just we just raised the odds here on uh, on, on the favorite horse. Rock your or, world. Rock, rock your Seven world. Horse. I, I still won't remember. All right, thank you, James. We'll be back on five reasons to bet to an NBA tomorrow. A pleasure as always. Thank you.